This fiscal year was one of the busiest, most challenging, and yet exciting years for our agency. Photos approved Project Connect, the transformational system expansion plan that will improve mobility throughout the region and make Austin a more equitable and livable city. We continue to improve safety measures at our facilities, onboard our vehicles, and we were ready to respond to our community during an unprecedented winter storm. Our commitment to our customers and staff allow us to improve our services and plan ahead for a brighter future. In this video, we'll highlight how Cap Metro is serving the Central Texas region, including a look at how we are investing in technology, safety, and the reliability of our community's public transportation system. While vaccines have arrived, and there's hope that the worst of the pandemic is finally behind us, the safety of our customers and our staff remains our number one priority as the pandemic continues to affect our community and the agency. Air purification devices were installed on our entire bus fleet, helping us to prevent the airborne spreading of COVID-19 inside the vehicle cabin. We added sanitizer dispensers on every bus and at high traffic facilities and provided masks to customers who needed them while using our services. We also upgraded to vinyl seats on all of our fixed route fleet, which improves seat comfort as well as cleanability. This year, we provided free rides to vaccine appointments. And as of October, we had transported 1,970 customers to receive their COVID-19 vaccines. When the pandemic hit, we were one of the first transit agencies in the country to partner with local food banks and grocers to distribute food to at-risk community members who needed to stay at home. When the program concluded in early 2021, we had delivered more than 1 million meals to those in need. Internally, we've provided vaccine incentives for our frontline staff and extended time available for family and medical leave so our team can take care of themselves and their loved ones. Health and safety policies at our work facilities have been enhanced to keep all team members and visitors as safe as possible when working in the office. This all proves that transit is an essential service that should be supported. The American Rescue Plan passed by the Biden administration allowed us to take care of our workforce today and provide support for the future as we keep building more equitable and sustainable communities. Throughout this fiscal year, our agency continued to enrich the communities in which we serve. We've completed the first full year of the Cat Metro CARES program, which leverages unused ad space on our vehicles to promote the missions of local nonprofit agencies. This past year, our partners included ATX Kids Club, Austin Parks Foundation, Central Texans for Safe Streets, and YMCA Austin. Our planning department launched several pilot programs, including an innovative new product used as a bike lane separator, and this platform was studied to see how it could improve urban accessibility at bus stops for cyclists and customers. The Capital Metro community engagement team rose to the challenge of engaging with people during a time when in-person events were limited. From Facebook Live conversations featuring nonprofit partners needing help during COVID-19 to community meetings about public safety, the team remained nimble to stay connected. We also partnered with HEB and its beneficiary for the children in a back-to-school educational supplies drive. As a part of our State of Good Repair program, the Metro Rail team rehabbed various railroad crossings in our system by renewing the ballast, ties, and portions of the rail. Crossing signalization was upgraded to improve reliability, and insulated track panels were installed to protect against inclement weather. We also improved our Metro bike system by expanding bike stations around the downtown corridor and adding about 300 electric assist bikes to the fleet. Currently, our planning team is doing community outreach to determine whether Metro bike service can be implemented as a reliable mobility solution for more parts of the community. CAP Metro continued to be highly competitive for federal and state funding opportunities, securing a grant in 2020 to fund a study on equitable transit-oriented development, which will ensure that we enrich local neighborhoods, increase ridership, and expand opportunity for those living near the system. And yet again, CAP Metro received the Distinguished Budget Presentation Award for the 2020 fiscal year. It's initiatives and accolades like these that led to Project Connect being named 2021's next big idea by the Urban Land Institute. 
and honor in testament to the community's vision and hard work from our agency, advocates, and partners. In February, our region faced an unprecedented winter storm. Many were left without electricity and clean water for over a week. In this great time of need, our team expanded and even redefined our services to provide much needed relief to our community. We staffed around the clock support at the region's emergency operations center, serving as one of the primary providers of emergency transportation during the storm. Transportation to warming shelters was provided to at-risk individuals, and we opened up our facilities as shelters to our staff and their families during the extreme weather period. We transported over 1,100 Metro Access customers, 164 of which needed life-saving dialysis treatments. And free fares were offered for a two-week period after the storm to further support our community. We also facilitated water distribution to critically affected communities and food to first responders who worked tirelessly to keep our community safe. Plus, we partnered with several nonprofits and food banks to deliver blankets and meals to those in need. This is just another example of how critical our services are to this community. The women and men of CAP Metro adapt quickly and respond with professionalism, even when the task at hand is beyond the usual scope of their duties. Our community made a resounding statement in the November 2020 election by passing a ballot initiative to fund Project Connect, a large transit system expansion, and we are grateful for our community's trust and vision for the future. This important step will bring much needed economic and environmental benefits to our rapidly expanding region and will support its growth. The transformational plan has been made possible through the collaborative efforts of our partners at the City of Austin and members of the community like you. Prior to November's vote, our agency completed two major projects related to Project Connect. In October 2020, the charging yard for electric buses was finished on time and on budget. As we work to transition our all-electric bus fleet, this yard will have 175 charging spaces and is designed to accommodate both diesel and electric buses during this transition. We partnered with Austin Energy on the design and long-term plan for bringing electric service to the site. And we also secured a federal grant in 2020 to fund the fleet electrification. Less than a week later, the new downtown station was also finished ahead of schedule and under budget. The opening of the new downtown station marks the beginning of the new chapter for downtown Austin creating a better connection to and from the communities along the red line and improved access to jobs downtown. The project is registered under Austin Energy's Green Building Program and includes materials with high recycled content. The new downtown station will also serve as a major connection hub for Project Connect expansion program. This year, we introduced contact-free and cashless payment options, allowing customers to ride even more safely and easily. New tap cards for 31 and seven day passes are simply placed on the onboard validator rather than swiped or inserted into the fare box. The safer payment option also gets customers on board faster. Customers can now add cash to the Cap Metro app at over 250 participating retailers, removing the hassle of having exact change at the fare box and the need to have a credit card to use in-app payments. Cash is loaded into a digital wallet on the app and can be used immediately or at the customer's convenience. We also piloted the use of new customer communication tools on board our buses. These screens dynamically display important information in one place for our customers, including route and next stop information, date and time, customer emergency alerts, bus operator and route IDs, stop requests, and they even display transit-related content in graphic and video format. Information centers like this are critical in enhancing ridership experience and safety on board our vehicles. Keeping our community safe is a team effort, which is why CAT Metro uses CSAY Now to allow customers to report activities that are suspicious or dangerous to our customers or staff during their ride directly from their phone. This feature is also integrated into Cat Metro app 
making the process easy and stress-free. In fact, there are four reporting tools that let customers support other riders anonymously through the Cat Metro app, See Say Now app, online through the website or via text. These fast, easy tools help to create a safer experience for customers and our staff. That's very important to us. So much so that our agency has unveiled plans to improve our public safety program. This new industry leading approach is customer focused, transit specific, and will feature public safety ambassadors who are as prepared to sell a pass as to write a citation. On staff social workers who respond to non-criminal disruptive incidents. More security cameras on vehicles and at facilities. And adding CAP Metro Transit Police for when law enforcement is truly needed. This plan for the public safety program has been peer reviewed by other U.S. transit agencies. This year, TxDOT and the Texas Impaired Driving Task Force awarded CAP Metro with the 2021 Texas Impaired Driving Difference Maker Award in recognition of our comprehensive drug and alcohol program and helping to make Texas roadways safer. Capital Metro implemented diversity, equity, and inclusion programs to help guide the agency towards diversity in sponsorships, community engagement, and talent acquisition through job creation and vendor opportunities. We established an internal DEI steering committee and an advisory group to help collect public input regarding DEI initiatives and have continued to work on disadvantaged and small business enterprise goals for procurement opportunities, increasing the level of small business participation across Capital Metro projects from our disadvantaged business enterprise program. The DBE program requires great attention to setting goals for federally funded procurements, awarding contracts, and close monitoring of those contracts once they've been awarded. Capital Metro's DBE SBE program is recognized as one of the best implemented programs across the industry, regularly exceeding Federal Transit Administration's benchmarks for success. This year, we launched two new pickup zones in areas of the city that have been historically underserved by public transit. We also provided more than 1,900 free rides to COVID-19 vaccine appointments, creating a critical connection to healthcare during the pandemic. We realize that maintaining a high level of diversity, equity, and inclusion is a journey we all here at Capital Metro have to be a part of. We're proud of the great strides we've made thus far and are looking forward to the continued success of our programs and collaboration with our community. This year provided new challenges to our agency and the women of men of Cap Metro responded with professionalism, even going above and beyond their normal job duties. Public transit is essential and this year has reinforced that. As we look towards the future, we also remember our Cap Metro family members that we lost this year. Their sacrifices and dedication are a testament to the role this AG plays in the community. We are proud to provide community service to our friends and neighbors in Central Texas now and into the future.